Milk Tea is a romantic song by Dada that, in a very shoujo way, chronicles the budding relationship between two girls in high school. What makes it interesting, beyond just being sweet, however, is that the song has a very mysteriously tragic ending, with the listener knowing that, many years later, the relationship did not continue for an unspecified reason, and that the protagonist still feels a sense of longing and regret because of this. This, naturally, has led many to ask, what happened to the other girl? And it is in this theorizing that an interesting trend can be observed. Vocaloid is very familiar with death and mortality. Many of the more popular Vocaloid songs in its history are about loss and coping with it. This familiarity is one of the things that make the medium so unique. However, this has created a culture where death has in this way become something of an emotional crutch. Since when dealing with Vocaloid, death is always on the table as a realistic explanation, people have a tendency to fall back on it. Tying this back to Milk Tea, people have supposed many things to explain why their relationship failed, supposing that everything from an unfortunate breakup to a tragic accident. I'm not saying that the girl did not die. As stated, it's incredibly vague. But what is interesting is that death in this context is a much easier pill to swallow than the idea that the missing girl simply broke up with the protagonist, which is honestly the much more realistic explanation. With death, there's the sense that the events that occur are out of your control. It is, of course, sad, but at least the love always stayed pure. On the part of the audience, there's a comfort in knowing that your lesbians loved each other to the last. In accepting the other option, one is to accept that the feeling of love crumbled and one was left voluntarily sad. The idea that this couple you spent most of the song growing attached to broke up, that there was in any way bad will between them, is painful in a much more grounded way, one that hurts more than the simple explanation that, oh, one died, nothing could be helped. This duality between scenarios, one that is harder on the characters and one that is harder on the audience, is not even exclusive to Milk Tea. Calc was another ambiguous song for many years, documenting feelings of loss and regret over a past relationship. But in Calc's case, it seemed more likely that it was describing a breakup. Project Diva, however, retroactively made Calc about death, tying it to Starduster. This made many people sad, for many obvious reasons, but in the same way, something was lost by simply tying the emotion to something that was out of your control. Death is, of course, tragic. The loss of human life is horrible, and plenty of songs have discussed the ramifications therein beautifully. But in some cases, death is also the easy way out. Just as much of the world is filled with death, it is also filled with interpersonal connections that crumble over time. It is filled with a longing to make up for past mistakes. We shouldn't rely on death to make a situation easier to swallow. The world is a painful place, but one whose broad spectrum of pain we ought to be comfortable with. Go listen to Milk Tea. It's a beautiful song.